Right, hello everyone! Right, hello everyone, I am here with you, Bob, and I'm not doing a full episode on this game because it's still in development, as you can tell by the complete lack of textures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show off uh, a little bit about what the game can do. So this is Emerge N... sorry. It is Emergence NYC. Um, supposed to be a play on Emergency. So this is a fictional New York... Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got the police here, and uh, we are responding to reports of an automated fire alarm somewhere in New York City. So basically we're going to make our way to that. So basically you've got a whole bunch of siren controls, so you've got this one. Very American. No rumbler. If it, is this got a manual siren? Yeah, I, I'll show you the manual siren in the fire engine. It's terrifying. So as you can see, you've basically got NYPD. Now at, at the moment, the game is quite limited in that you can't um, you can't do you can't get out of the vehicle. Like if I zoom in, there is nobody present in the vehicle. So, you've got the police, you've got various kind of units, so we'll grab our set, oh, that didn't work. We've got our FDNY unit, we'll respond in, let's uh, get the engine on, and respond to the reports of the automated fire alarm, let's see their lights. America! So we'll grab them on the scene of our automatic alarm and we don't know if the alarm is in the um, the shops or possibly in um, the stairwell. So what we'll do to show it off, we'll go to the FDNY and we'll go grab ladder company 66 which is this delightful beast here. So let's turn out ladder company 66, get that engine on. Now, American fire trucks are a beast, an absolute beast. Let's uh, let's get them on the go. Now, this is a very tight street, if memory serves me correctly. So let's uh, let's just be very, very cautious. Okay, so we've got the horns, which are that one, that one. Or that one. But if you want a truly terrifying, you often hear American trucks with the manual siren, which is when they go. And they actually, um, it must be a rotating uh, drum wheel that they, in fact, let me, let me just uh, silence that. It must be a rotating drum wheel that they use to, uh, to make the noise because um, y you basically the R button, so if I do this, and you'll hear, that's the siren break, so that's basically when the, the drum would would go in. So let's uh, let's say it's on an umpteenth four, and let's work out how to do this. So, uh, look, we need to do the outriggers. Um, oh, they do have a rumbler. I was wondering that. Oh, this one doesn't. Ah, okay, this is this is the this is the ladders engaged, right? But we're not going to do that just now because um, reasons. So what we're going to do? Um, we're going to put on the rear directional bar, which is K, which we don't apparently have. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, right. So let's put the outriggers out, which is this. Oh, we don't seem to be going. Is it control, maybe? Does this thing have outriggers? I would have said yes. But that's the siren! But apparently not new. 
Oh wait, I don't think they are what I think they are. I was thinking that the outriggers are um, the jacks that come out to stabilize the vehicle. Let's, let's see if there is a control for jacks. No, there isn't. Okay, so let's go to ladder controls. Uh, why are the controls inverted? Raise ladder. Eh, okay. Fair enough. So, as ever with uh, American things, they need to be able to reach uh, silly, silly, silly heights. So if I do... Oh, oh, we do have first person. Okay, that's, that's interesting. If we do this now, what is it to extend the ladder? I do indeed forget it. Uh, ladder extend is E. Is there such a view as being on the end of the ladder? Uh, two, three, four, no, right, view. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, okay, right, that's fine. Um, alright, okay, so go. That's not what we wanted at all. Shut up. Okay, so yeah, we can deploy the ladder as required. It's quite hard to see from this view, I guess. You kind of have to be very, very specialized in. Ooh, ooh, mm, that's gone to desktop. Um, yeah, I guess you've got to be very, very specialized in. Um, this kind of equipment to be able to do this kind of work, but yeah, let's let's go for let's go for this one with the light. Oh, I crashed. E e e. There we go. So now firefighters can get in and rescue the poor people in the umpteen floor of this Novum Yorkin building. Um, there we go. Awesome. So yeah, that's a that's a little bit of a brief look. Uh, this this is kind of what it what it is. There's no there's no people. There's no fires yet, but um, they've got the units of the game in. So I suppose we can probably take a quick little look at them. So showed you the police, showed you ambulance, showed you fire. Fire is the main thing they've got in. So FDNY, we've got Fire Company 30, which is down here, and it's housed along with a uh, ladder tiller. Now I look forward to being able to drive these. Uh, I might actually, I might maybe practice it in a minute, and you'll get a laugh, you will get a laugh. Um, so engine company 30, 32, 49, uh, 78, shit's on. So that, this station's got an actual turn -out alarm, which is good. Uh, tower and ladder, I'm not sure. Alright, so this is, a, this is a slightly different setup. So this is a hydraulic extendable boom rather than an extendable ladder. So basically, this, is, this has got a basket in it which uh, has a monitor which you can use for firefighting. Uh, we've got hook and ladder, which I will show you in a minute. Uh, not sure what this is. Squad! I have no idea what squad trucks do in America. Uh, I think it's just a mixed thing. We've got battalion. Which is another mixed thing, which I can't click on for some reason. Yeah, there we go. So this is basically the fire officers, and then we've got rescue. Now, I'm kind of curious, because I spotted something in the thing that was rescue only. The train horn. Shit's <laughs> on! <laughs> Alright, okay, so uh, rescue. Man, rescue's badass. Okay, uh, I'm actually not saying, oh yeah, okay, alright, so it's, it's up here, so if we do J, God. God, so you've got a train horn. Goodness gracious, why the heck would you need that on a fire engine? So this is a this is a famous road. This is effectively um, this is effectively what will be in the game, um, the real life Times Square that we're coming through now. Uh, oh, 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 I'm on the pavement. 
So, I think the suspension's a little bit... Oh god, I'm out of control. <laughs> so, suspension's a little bit tough. This is like British roads. So, we'll respond to our automatic fire alarm. <laughs> I can steer. <laughs> all right, so we're here. Oh, we crashed. <laughs> ah, this is all going so well. So that's rescue. The rescue. The rescue has a. The rescue is a train horn. <laughs> Why? Why do you need a train horn on a fire? Like, not even a train horn. Like. Uh, uh, a British or um, European train horn, which makes sense. It's an, a proper American horn. <laughs> oh god, that's horrible. Right, okay, I'll show you the hook and ladder, uh, otherwise known as the tiller truck. So, um, it's X and C I need to be able to do. So, I'll show you this. This is an interesting appliance. So, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll swing it out first. Um, it has rear wheel driving facilities on it. So let me just uh, pull it out. Okay. Right. So if I zoom out a little bit, right, um, you can basically see that it's uh, it's articulated. So it's on an articulated point, and so we have control of the front engine. And I pull a little cretin who has the man here mans the back section. So we'll get to. I'm not noticing any steering going on. So if I do that. Okay, you got press and hold. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's try responding in this thing. Oh my god, it's going to be so hard. Uh, right, where am I going? I'm going left. So if I do this... Way. So basically the rear wheel drive... <laughs> you can drift! <laughs> That's not what it's for. It's uh, it's not for doing sick drifts. Um, it is for... Uh, it's for, uh, obviously... Um, New York, um, there can be a lot of traffic. It's for being able to negotiate such a big vehicle um, without hitting any cars or buildings or whatever. And the reason for a vehicle of this is basically... Oh, oh, oh I've caused something to load. Um, basically, it's got a super ridiculous, extreme-sized uh, ladder. So if, um, if you were, say, stuck or... Oh, has this got internal? Oh, it does! Um, internal cameras don't work too well. Um, but yeah, so if you've got like a skyscraper on fire, this this is this is your shit to be honest. So um, yeah, sick drift. Way. <laughs> but yeah, so if you were doing a tight corner, let, let's let's practice on one. So let's let's try it. No, okay, right. So ba basically, what 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 you need. Is if I say I am turning left, I need to turn it to the right, and then it'll swing round, and we'll do a sick drift again accidentally. But that's basically what it's for. So imagine, imagine there's there's cars in the left lane. I need to make this corner without going to the pavement. Basically, oh crap, I've, I've got too much momentum. Yeah. So basically, that's that's it. yeah. They need to sort their physics a little bit. Um, basically, you can turn to the shut up. You can turn to the left while the tiller turns to the right, and it basically shortens uh, the the corner for you. So what I want to do? Let's uh, let's kind of confuse about where we are. Right. What we're gonna do? Rather than uh, let's just let's just let's just do a completely unrealistic on the pavement turnaround. Rather than do a small ass building, let's let's do a let's do a, a big building. Let's try and rescue somebody from this beast. So we we'll have the NYPD come and shoot off the road. You know, I said this wasn't going to be a long episode, but here we are. Right. Okay. So then we do this. We can raise the ladder. Oh no no. So what we're gonna do is this supposed to be the Empire State Building. Huh. So this is far and opposite place. Okay. So let's extend it. 
so this would be used for rescuing people at extreme heights. So if I do, whoa, whoa. if I do this and go all the way up here, let's uh, let's just extend it to the absolute maximal, even though. <laughs> uh, right, okay, let's let's just do. Oh, the game's stuck. All right, let's go back to hook and ladder. G, G. There we go. Right, okay, so. Oh, no. Extend it as far as it will go. Oh, giddy goose. So if I were to zoom all the way in, we're basically we're basically uh, a few quite a few stories up in the totally not the Empire State Building. So if I switch uh, if I switch camera controls to free, uh, we can go and have a look at the little scene that we've created. So uh, yeah, uh, we're not quite. Uh, ah, yeah, that's good enough. If we if we lower it down quite a bit, we're uh, we're quite quite high up, and um, yeah. So this is uh, Emerge NYC, which is um, a game that is in development, focusing on, if you couldn't guess it, the fire and rescue services of. New York City set in a fictional New York City for licensing reasons that I know only too well. And yeah, this has just been a little example of what you can do. Like I say, there are no fires, there are no like people you can't like open up the side compartments and play about with equipment and stuff yet. Um, but this is how it's looking so far and it's looking looking pretty good. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for having this, I was going to say quick look, it's not quick, it's been 16 minutes. Thank you very much for watching anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!